Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create approvals in Teams in less than five minutes. So let's get started. For this video, we'll see how to submit an expense for approval to your manager so that they can see the notification in Teams and then they can either approve it or reject it. And based on that, your expense will have a status of approved or rejected in whichever data source you have. Uh, to make the approval flow, we'll be using Power Automate. And the first step for this video is to create the flow. So let's get started on that. I am on the Power Automate homepage right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on templates. So the good thing is you don't need to create this flow from scratch. There is already a template available for Teams approval and you can just use that. So in search templates, we will search for Teams. So there is a request approval in Microsoft Teams when a SharePoint item is created. This is what we're going to use. So it will ask you to sign in on these connections if you already haven't created these. And once you're signed in, just click on continue. And boom, you have your flow created for you. You didn't have to do anything. Just click a few buttons and you have an approval flow created. Um, it does has all these actions for SharePoint, for approvals, for teams, everything created for you. Uh, you just need to customize it based on your requirement. So the first thing that we are going to do is select our SharePoint site and SharePoint list. And let's do that. So this flow is going to trigger when a new item is created in the receipts list. And then it's going to try to get some more details on that item from here. Uh, the next step it's doing is getting my profile. So basically getting my email and all that stuff so that we can use it in the uh, further actions. And the another action that we could add here is to get my manager. So I can add an action, get manager. And what this will do is, um, for that, I need to choose myself as the email or my email basically to get my manager. And then in the create and approval, what I can do is I can add dynamic content and select the mail, which I got from get manager action. So this will send the approval to my manager and that way I can get the expense, um, or the receipt approved from my manager. Um, for the testing purpose, I'm not going to use that. <laughs> We're just going to send it to myself. So I'm going to approve my own expense. Yes, I'm my own. I am my own boss. So let's add in some details on the create and approval. So for the details, I'm just going to add some basic stuff about the receipt so that we can see how the approval works. So I'm going to try to pull in the total amount of the receipt. And that's it. I'm just going to send that. If the person wants to look at more details, uh, I'll add a link to the item as well. So after this approval is created, what it's going to do is it's going to send an adapter card to each of the approvers. So you can have multiple approvers here. It will send an adapter card to each of them. And the recipient is the approver. And the message is adapter card. So this is something that you get from the approval action automatically. So you see over here, there's an adaptive card. So you don't have to create it. The flow or this action basically will create it for you. The next thing it does is it waits for the approval. And once the approval or the rejection is received, it will either send um, a message again on Teams to the requester saying that the receipt or expense was approved or it was rejected. So the only thing that is left now is to save this. Oops, we see an error here. It says some of the connections are not authorized yet. So for this template, because it's probably an old template, it's using a send an email action, which is the old one. Um, so what we're going to do is we click on the ellipsis next to it. And the thing is, it hasn't chose in the connection. So I'm just going to use that. And that's it. Now, if I try to save again, it's going to save it. So this flow is going to trigger when an item is created. 
So the next thing that we need to do is to add an item. Now, if you have not watched my video on how to scan the seats using AI Builder or Azure Form Recognizer API, I'm going to put the links to them down in the description so that you can learn how to scan the seats. So I'm going to click on scan a receipt, choose one of the receipts. So it has processed my receipt and it has got all the details from it. And I just need to click on upload receipt now. So this is going to add the receipt to my SharePoint list or actually now it's Microsoft list. So you see that it added an item and this should have triggered the flow as well. So let's go back. So it's running the flow right now and we'll now check our teams. And you can see there was a new, um, which has this adaptive card. It has the link to the item. It has the total amount. I just need to click on approve or reject. So I'm going to click on approve. Yes. Approve my expense, please. Enjoy. And then I'll click submit. And there you go. I approved my own expense. So it does update the card. Plus it's also sending me a message because I'm the requester as well that, okay, your expense was approved by that API guy and the comments as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get notified about my new videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon as well. Thank you for watching.